So here's what's not to do if you want to bring the spark back in your life, in your marriage, in your career, right? Because most people would tell you the logical thing would be like, oh, if you want to feel more sexy, more alive, more connected, you have to do more things. And this is totally untrue, especially for most busy women like you that are already doing enough. You already have enough on your plate. See, I'm working with a client right now who wants to feel the sexual connection with her husband again, and she wants to feel her creativity again. But for the past couple of years, she's been living life, and there have been big T and little T traumas that she never processed and dealt with. And so what does she do? She pushed them down and she kept on moving and staying busy because she had to keep getting through, right? And this is a totally normal response, right? Why would you want to feel your pain? Why would you want to sit with your hardship? But the thing is, when we push it down and when we get busy, instead of processing and dealing with what's coming up for us, we are blocking intensity. We're trapping things in our body. And when you block intensity, you block the good intensity as well as the difficult intensity. So what we're doing is instead of me telling her to dress sexier and go on more date nights, what we're doing is we're creating a safe space for her to hold herself and to process the things that she's been through that every woman has been through with the pandemic and with just living life and all the things that are going on. And this is something that we never learn how to do as women, but that we have to do if we want more joy, more pleasure. And honestly, just live a life that feels better, where your relationships feel better, where your relationship to yourself feels better. And like you get to have everything that you want instead of staying busy, just to keep things moving, just to survive, just to get through another day, reach out to me because it's often, it's not what you think, right? It's not about doing more. It's not about being sexier. It's not about pushing yourself harder, but that's what most women know how to do, right? You know how to just keep on moving forward. And what I want you to do is move forward in a way that feels the best for you, where you get to open up to all of the good things that you want. Let it feel the way that you want it to feel. Let it be easier and to really feel empowered to hold yourself when things are hard because they will be hard. It's life, but not to let it block you from all the blessings that you want.